Real men use iron sights. <laughs> I use heavy artillery. Unlike previous characters mm -hmm. that like I've helped write, it was a strong black woman mm -hmm. in the role, yes. right? Yeah. And I remember one of our audio guys told me like, you mm -hmm. know, his sister was a Marine. Mm -hmm. And like their whole family came from this like very, very proud, yeah. just like military background. Yeah. And it was military like service. super, yeah. super important to them. Yeah. You know, Bangalore comes from like, you know, a strong military background. Exactly. And like, she's actually ex-IMC, which mm -hmm. I know is often considered like the bad guys of the Titanfall universe. Yeah. But not from her point of view. From her point of view, she has like, you know, a, yeah. a very proud military history. Mm -hmm. And I like that about yeah. her. You know what I mean? She, yeah. She's definitely a good guy. So my senior writer at the time hated Bangalore because <laughs> you guys wanted basically like a easy for beginners to understand like just soldier yeah. characters. So it was it was uh, trying to solve a couple problems. It was a, a, trying to make a sort of uh, meat and potatoes straightforward soldier character. It was trying to solve the a major offensive problem we had in our maps, which is how do I advance a squad against a defensive position over a large swath of open ground? Where it's like, before Bangalore, you can charge, but you're just gonna get hosed. A lot of people ask where the name Bangalore came from. There were two things that was influencing it. One is the Bangalore torpedo, and it found service clearing defensive structures like the barbed wire on the beaches of Normandy. The whole mechanical set for Bangalore came from the Punjab soldiers that served in the Indian arm of the British military during World War I. Those soldiers had to cross massive swaths of no man's land and all that stuff. And so smoke and the type of bombardment that Bangalore employs is what's called a creeping barrage. And so that's a barrage that you synchronize with a group of infantrymen where it lands about 50 to 100 yards out. Basically, your team needs to like move with it exactly. to encroach on the exactly. other position. Yeah. I'm personally proud of what the team has accomplished in terms of the, the characters, is that I feel like mechanically, writing-wise, animation-wise, in terms of voice acting, you're not just playing a mechanical set that has a personality, you're, you're, you are that character. Right. That combination of the, the, de the determined tone and you're not gonna knock me over, I'm gonna knock you over. When you get shot at, you don't have to get hit, but when you're taking fire and you're running, you double time, you, you move faster. We implemented that to give people confidence to just close with people. And you can be under withering fire and just keep pushing no matter what. You know, the smoke launcher allows you to advance your squad and you can use that in a defensive role and an offensive role, it's highly flexible. Uh, it deals damage and so the hit numbers can tell you how many occupants of a building there are. And then of course the, there's the, the bombardment, but like to me the whole thing ended up being very powerful as, a, as a, an entirety as well because it ended up being like a, a, an, an homage to African-American regiments like the Harlem Hellfighters who fought during World War I, right? That actually was one of my inspirations. Yeah, yeah.